The town of Aspen sits at the headwaters of the Roaring Fork Valley, surrounded by national forest and wilderness areas. These mixed pine, aspen, and conifer forests have been protected and managed for about 100 years. Fire has always been a part of the forest ecosystem until uh, Europeans and America decided that it was inconvenient and began suppressing it around 1901. In this time, these unique areas have not burned. Without a natural burn cycle, the risk of rampant wildfires is dramatically increased. Without proper action and coordinated effort, we are facing the potential destruction of our beloved forests and homes when the next fire hits. Over a hundred years of undergrowth, deadfall, and general drying out have made this 2.3 million acres a literal tinderbox waiting to ignite. Oh my God, this is so bad. The whole mountain is now on fire. Uh, last night, our crews were out here yesterday as those flames started to spread up here. And the major issue out here was the wind overnight. Fire is in the news every year in the fire season, and it's turning out that the fire season is nearly year round. While climate change increases the length and severity of fire season, there is a limit we can achieve with conventional methods and current funding to protect the residents in the town of Aspen and its bordering forests. We have to solve old problems with new thinking. The old way to manage this kind of issue is by cutting and removing burn fuels, many of which have no commercial value. This type of treatment can cost $3,000 an acre, and we have 15 million acres of land that we need to treat. You could uh, use it to create firewood, and that's what most of it that we uh, remove, that we harvest, is used for. But that's just taking it and putting all the carbon that that tree has sequestered for 100 years right back into the atmosphere. New solutions are right under our feet. What do we do if we can't allow fire in the forest? We enlist cold fire. Fungal degradation does almost exactly the same thing to trees in the forest that fire does except that there's no heat involved and there is no rapid catastrophic event. Fungi are our best allies in fire mitigation. We simply just let them do what they are evolved to do. I'm Dr. Lauren Saplicki. I'm an expert in the field of microremediation. Passive fungi-based fire mitigation is a proven and effective way to build soil, capture carbon, reduce the fire danger, protect the forests and the ecosystems. Fungi-based fire mitigation techniques were pioneered by Jeff Ravage from the Coalition of the Upper South Platte. In the fall of 2014, the Coalition for the Upper South Platte began an investigation into the use of wood rotting mushrooms for ecological restoration. My name is Jeff Ravage. I'm the North Fork Watershed Coordinator for CUSP. And this is Pleurotus pulmonarius. It's a common wood rotting mushroom in Colorado, and it's our hero in this story. Working in tandem with mechanical treatment, we mulch excess fuels in place and inoculate them with indigenous species of wood rotting fungi to accelerate decomposition. Fungi are nature's recyclers, and that's why they're our best allies in fire mitigation. They rot wood that would otherwise be fuel for forest fires. And in doing so, they return carbon and other nutrients to the soil. The process is more affordable, less disruptive, and can become the model for protecting the West's great forests. Aspen is a center for innovation, and this is yet another design problem that we can look to nature to solve. Jeff's five-year study proved that we can accelerate the decomposition of the mulch deadfall from over a decade to around three years. This is what we start with. These are solid wood chips left over from logging. You can see you can snap them, it's solid wood. And our final product, even though this is not complete, is compost. Our project for the town of Aspen will replicate and improve these results by simple additions to the methodology. We are seeking funding to initiate this project and execute it in three phases. Phase one is essentially a mushroom hunt. We go out into the forest, identify wood rotting fungi that are local and adapted to the area, and inoculate test patches for targeted areas. Phase two, mass propagation of high functioning fungi strains is when we choose the best one and we mass produce it. Phase three is where we inoculate the mulched fuel with the fungi that's best performing. From an environmental engineering perspective, this is the most elegant solution. 
We're using natural processes and just accelerating them. So it doesn't involve like anything that's going to exacerbate the risk of catastrophic wildfire. This proven method, in combination with our community's willingness to innovate, is a perfect union of actionable problem solving. By doing so, we are pioneering new technologies for other communities facing similar threats.